just do a flyby here of the Land Ranger Pro. See right here on the side, you've got a little headphone jack area. It's really cool. It's got a little cover over this, so if you weren't using the headphones, this little thing kind of protects that hole from dirt and debris. And there's that uh, nice 11 inch DD search coil. It's going to give you the target separation and good depth of mineralized soil. And it comes in a really nice box. Made in the USA. So very sleek, extremely lightweight machine. I think it's the, probably the lightest machine I've uh, used. Um, really sturdy though. Real solid feel to it. Uh, cam lock here. There's no wobble in this machine at all. Really light. I mean, you can swing this thing all day, and you're not going to be uh, having any shoulder pain or anything like that. So, uh, really great machine for long hunts. All right, guys. Here is the uh, face of the Land Ranger Pro. I'm going to show you uh, some of the preset programs and the features. First, I'm going to start off by doing a factory reset. I'm going to hold the mode button, push power. This is going to reset the machine back to the uh, default settings. And the first program that comes up is the Preset Coins program. Everything on this is set up for you for basically U.S. coins. You're discriminating, you know, foil, pull tabs, and things like that, and you're just going to get coins. And under these uh, preset programs, your adjustments are limited. You have your sensitivity and volume, and uh, the ground balance is preset in these coins. So this is just a turn on and go hunting mode. You can go out to your uh, local park or home site and you're going to get uh, coins and it's already set up for you which is uh, really great for uh, you know beginners you can get out there and have some fun without really uh, messing with too many settings and uh, it's a way to get started you know immediately without you know reading the manual or going into too much detail you can go out and immediately hunt for coins to change through the modes you just press the mode button and we have the preset jewelry mode and this one's also preset discrimination with just your sensitivity and volume adjustment. You're discriminating out uh, basically iron and uh, you know you're gonna pick up everything which you know a lot of jewelry, gold jewelry and stuff can be in the you know foil region all the way up to pull tabs <clears throat> with gold rings and uh, etc. So you're gonna get pretty much you get to hear everything and US coins and this is also a uh, preset ground balance mode then you have your artifact mode which is just discriminating uh, about halfway through the iron section so you're gonna knock out the small nails but you're gonna hear everything now we're into the disc modes the disc modes offer a lot more features and also you're able to ground balance the machine to your soil conditions in this mode you're able to change the settings and save them for your uh, hunting preferences and when you see disc 2 this is referring to disc 2 is two tones so <clears throat> you're gonna have two different tones you're gonna have your low tone and then your kinda like VCO tone uh, for everything above the iron level and in this mode you have a whole range of adjustments. Your sensitivity which goes from 0 to 10 and just to show you to increase that you just hit the plus button once you've highlighted the particular area you want to adjust. Right now we're currently indoors and you know typically indoors you have a lot more electromagnetic interference and as you can see wide open this machine is running very stable uh, which is really really great about this machine so outdoors you're going to be able to run really high sensitivities in a, you know almost any environment and get maximum detection depth we're going to decrease this a little bit back to the factory 7 to scroll through the different adjustments you've got your up and down arrows 
You've got your volume adjustment, 0 to 10. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you have some headphones that do not have a volume control, um, you know this is a good place to uh, set that. Then you have your discrimination level. Discrimination level, you just you know toggle your plus switch to start eliminating items. You see things disappear. So you can disc all the way out up to just below 10 cents, and uh, that allows you to you know hunt for things that you want to, and just to bring it back in. We'll just hold this. And right now, we're accepting everything. You see the light gray shaded area that is accepted right now. And this has to do with your next feature, V-Break. V-Break is allowing you to set the tone, the low tone, to come in where you want to. And right now, the V-Break is set, you know, right at iron. Uh, and everything above iron is going to be, you know, your higher tone. With this V-break, uh, I think this is a really, really interesting feature that if you're searching for certain items and you're in a field maybe that has a lot of uh, you know small bits of shredded aluminum or something that may come in as foil or you know actually shredded foil, you can set that V-break higher to just below five cents, say, and now everything under the nickel area is going to come in as a low tone. So you could, you know, ignore those shallow low tones and concentrate on other uh, items that you might be looking for. And this is, you know, you can put this where you want to. This V-break will just go. Let's see how high it actually does go. And you can V-break all the way up to 25 cents. So, I mean, at this point, everything below quarter would be uh, a low tone. So you would be... If you hunted that way, you know, you'd pretty much be finding, uh, you know, the high conductors and silver rings would be your high tone and everything else would be a low tone. I mean, that's pretty much something you can experiment with and uh, see what you like. Um, I think in a trashy park, setting it, you know, above foil would be pretty good. But I'm going to put it back to its, you know, basically where it was near the iron range. So that's your V-break. Then you scroll down, you have your notch feature, which is uh, to get rid of, uh, you know, areas, instead of the linear discrimination adjustment, you can move this to discriminate out a certain area, like if you wanted to get rid of pull tabs. Oops, sorry about that. You got your notch width. You see it's just how many segments do you want to notch uh, which is very interesting um, you could really notch out a very narrow segment if you're getting a pull tab at a very specific ID a shallow pull tab that's really locking on and you're getting tons of those you could notch that out and then dig other targets which I think is really cool So it goes up to 20, which is a pretty big segment um, to notch out. But I also like that this is user controlled. You know, there's a lot of machines that when you hit the notch, you're pretty much notching out, you know, a whole category. And then on some of the higher end machines, uh, half of a category. Okay, so you see your notch width. I'm going to set this to 5. We can move this around. If you scroll down now, it says notch. We can take that five segment and move it really wherever we want to. Say we're getting a lot of pull tabs just above nickel between you know five cents and aluminum. We can take that five segment section and put it wherever we want to. So now we're not going to detect that particular item. Say there was a pull tab at 38. So this gives you a lot of customization and you can adjust your notch width again say oh I'm getting a whole lot in this area I just want to detect nickels and I want to get rid of the you know potentially pull tabs and the aluminum area and you can do that on the fly and you can also 
go down and hit, you know, scroll down one more time where it just says notch, and you can move that back and forth wherever you'd like. So really good feature right there. And, um, you know, you can also just get rid of that at any time going to your notch width and uh, bringing it back to zero. So really, really, really a whole bunch of uh, very nice features on this machine. And of course, in, if you know, I mentioned previously in the disc modes, you can ground grab, punch, you know, pump the coil from one to six inches off the ground, and you're going to get. You can see here, but we'll do that outside and show you. You're going to get a ground balance for this machine, which is going to give you, you know, even better depth in your soil conditions in these uh, discrimination modes. Disc three, you have all the same features. You know, full customization, but now you're getting three different tones, and it's going to, you know, divvy up those tones according to the ID scale. You know, the higher you go, the higher the tone. And then you have four tones, which is going to give you even more options and a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more of a range of tonal uh, quality there to, de to determine what you want. <clears throat> and you know, you can also still use your V break, your disc level all the you know all the full features in each of these disc modes so it really gives you a lot of customization with the notch and the whole nine yards and uh really really interesting machine <laughs> what's also cool about this machine in particular um that really kind of blows me away in this you know price point and uh is that this has an all metals mode an all metals mode that has target ID and uh, you know that's pretty rare in a lot of machines at this price level we'll wave a US quarter over the coil just to let you see you're getting that VCO tone you're getting your your coin indication at the top and as it gets closer to the coil it, it gets louder so you really have that all metal detection depth is usually a little bit deeper than discrimination on every machine I've used so really nice really nice mode for going out and doing some uh, relic hunting uh, and coin hunting and you know fields and stuff places where there's not a huge abundance of targets so this really 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 is a uh, you know sets this above um, most of the detectors in its class, I feel, because you really have to hit the mode again. You really do have, you know, pretty much every feature offered on most top-end machines uh, in this uh, Bounty Hunter lineup. So uh, right here, the Land Ranger Pro. Oops. All right, guys. So. Uh, I'm going to let you guys see some targets uh, on this bounty hunter. We're back in the uh, stock coin program. And we're going to start off with some coins. Uh, right here is a Doug Wheat Scent. I'm going to let you see what that looks like. So there you're getting a tone. ID number and then your categories highlighted at the top and right here you also see you know that's pretty obvious a little depth you know kind of gives you a basic indication of depth we're going to do uh, Barber Dime you know very similar to a Copper Penny in tonal quality and here we have a you know a V nickel a Doug you're getting a mid-tone saying five cents it's given you know around 34 on the VDI number here we have a military button and that's why we're in the preset coins program this is falling into a trash category and not detecting it so we'll see that uh, here we have a seated liberty quarter 
getting a good ID, you're getting an indication of what it is, 25 cents. Here we got a silver half dollar. Getting a higher ID and we're reading 50 cents. And then we have a one dollar coin. Saying one dollar, giving you a really high VDI number and a very high tone. And here we have a very small silver ring. And that's coming in in the zinc area. So you know some you know silver this small, you might have to look out for the zinc area. And here we have an 18k gold ring. And that's coming in as five cents. So you definitely want to dig in that region, but I think we're just a hair above in VDI number. So that's showing the coins mode. You definitely want to dig in the nickel segment. And then here, I don't know if you can see this, but I thought I'd start throwing these in here. Here's a really small Roman coin, uh, very decayed, and it's smaller than a U.S. dime. But it's reading like five cents. Pretty cool. Don't really have to worry about finding any of those in North Carolina, but uh, interesting to uh, test. So now we can go into our uh, disc modes, <clears throat> and this is going to give you an example of the, you know, the two tones. Uh, you're going to pretty much with this discrimination setting right now. Oops, volume. This disc level, we're accepting pretty much everything, and you got the V break tone uh, going up just below foil, so you're going to hear what the tones are like on this. And here's the uh, Barber Dime. So, on two tones, there's your nickel, penny, and then here's your gold ring. You know, everything good is going to give you that VCO tone, which is uh, the closer the target is to the coil, the louder it's going to be. Then you got your three tones, which is, uh, you know, really good for hunting around in the park. <clears throat> and here's the uh, penny. And here's the gold ring. So it's throwing that zone into VCO. There's a nickel. And there's a dime. So you can see the how the tones work on that. And then we're going to do uh, four tones. A copper penny. Gold ring. The V nickel. Uh, the dime. And here's the little tiny silver ring. So now your VCO is in that area. So this thing really gives you a ton, a ton of options. And then uh, we'll just do a real quick all metals. So you can see, I mean, it's similar to like uh, two tones in a way, but you're going to have no lone tone at all. Everything's going to be... VCO. Here's the penny. So you're getting your indication and your VDI number. Here's the nickel. Gold ring. Dime. And a small silver ring. So pretty cool machine. A lot of features. Um, I'd say if you were getting started in metal detecting, this would be a really, really good machine uh, to get going with because you kind of got turn on and go, you know, sort of like a, 
you know, a Fisher F2 or something where you've got a preset ground balance, you just go out and start hunting. Except it gives you even more than that with these preset modes that are already rejecting, you know, common trash items. So you've kind of got a really great beginner metal detector. Then as you grow with the machine, you have these three disc options with a functional ground balance that are going to give you more depth, uh, way more options. So you're getting options like on a really you know, pro level machine at, you know, I think a great bargain. So I think this is one of the, you know, best deals on the market right now for someone uh, wanting to do some metal detecting. And, uh, you know, I can't really say, you know, prices vary, but if you shop around, you can really find a great deal on this. And uh, I'd say it's, you know, it's worth way more than its price point, in my opinion. It's definitely, <clears throat> you know, a high mid-range machine with all the features that it has on it, in my opinion. But you're paying, you know, closer to an entry-level price. So I think this is a really uh, great value for the money. And it does come with, you know, the 11 inch biaxial search coil. So you're going to get really good, you know, double D style coil. You're going to get really good target separation and, uh, you know, mineral see through with that narrow detection field. So you really got a, a great machine right out of the gate. I mean, this thing's just ready to rock. But uh, I'm going to, you know, I really can't say enough good things about this. I got this machine for a friend, so that's why this is kind of a, a short uh, short little review. Um, I did take it out and do some uh, field testing, uh, just like a sports field, you know. Uh, not an ancient site or going to find anything really old, but just wanted to see how it ran out in the you know real world conditions, and uh, I was very very impressed with the machine. And I don't know if I showed you, but you, of course you've got your pinpoint, which is pretty much standard fare. You pan point and as you get closer, you're going to get your depth indication and, uh, you know, it's going to get louder as you get toward the center of the coil. But, um, you know, just really, really, really high value machine here and, uh, you know, a machine that I wouldn't be afraid to go out and hunt with. Um, I was finding coins at, you know, various depths and, uh. I would put it over my test bed, but I'm redoing the test bed right now. It's kind of turned, uh, my previous test bed's turned into a picnic area. But I actually went out in the field and hunted with this and found coins at very impressive depths uh, in the disc modes for me. I, I tried out the coin mode. It was rejecting the trash. I was getting, you know, all kind of clad coins. And, you know, this area I was hunting, that's pretty much uh, what's out there. You might get lucky and find, uh, you know, some jewelry, but just lots and lots of coins. And I really got a huge haul of coins uh, in about two hours worth of hunting. <laughs> it was just backing them up. I'll show you that uh, pile of coins here in just a second. I wanted to show you guys how you ground balance this thing really fast. It's super easy. Find a clean spot right here. All you do is just press the ground grab button. Pump the coil until it goes quiet. And there we've got our ground balance, and we're ready to uh, start detecting. We're in disc four, and it's you can hear all the iron and trash and stuff in this. So we got a piece of aluminum right there, but you can see it's got really uh good response and that's when we can uh, you know fool around with the uh, disc level we can knock out that iron if you don't want to hear it now we can go and all that little iron is eliminated Really nice little machine. All right, guys, here's my, well, I said huge haul uh, for two hours. To me, yeah, it's a pretty huge haul. This is places place that gets detected uh, by a few guys I know. So, um, two hour hunt. I was digging them pretty fast. And, uh, you know, this is all clad stuff. A couple that were recent drops, kind of a park sports field area. 
You got a bunch of quarters, dimes, two nickels, a bunch of pennies, and did get one little uh, pin. And this was probably about five, six inches deep. Um, pretty impressed with that because this is a you know really small little target. You know there it is on top of a U.S. dime. So the Land Ranger, uh, you know my little quick field test very happy with it pinpointing was fantastic uh coins rang loud and clear did a really good job out there um i'm sure if i took this to a an old site we'd have a some really really nice finds but this uh you know clad clads adds up pretty fast and this uh bounty hunter sites like this it'd probably pay for itself a season or two if you can get out there and get lucky and uh you maybe throw a ring or two in there with uh, big clad hauls. Pretty awesome little machine. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, more reviews and testing and uh, treasure hunting to come. Uh, like and subscribe if uh, you enjoy it. If you hate this video, then dislike. Either way, helps me out. Appreciate you watching. Bye. All right, guys pretty solid 10 cent signal three inches deep let's uh, dig it Just saying somewhere right around here so there's a little deeper pinpoints really really nice no issues with that and uh, it's running really stable Really nice little running machine. It's like a uh, copper penny. Should have to get any others. Hey guys, I just got another pretty good signal. Seventy-two, seventy-three. Locking on 25 cent range. Let's try to dig that. Holding the camera. The probe out. Little in the side. Oh, there it is. Six inches deep. Clad down. Shift anything out. Checking that plug, and it's still making some noise. Thought it was getting a. False reading, let's see here. Still going, I think I see something. Aha. What in line to me, there's quarter. Cool, two and one, I like that. Got a dime signal here. Five inches deep, let's they walk around with the headphones on mostly. There's people uh, messing around out here today, so it's kind of hitting the outskirts. They can glide like crazy. Oops, this camera's bouncing.
like a copper penny. Four inches deep, so should be any good targets. Cody's out here with his uh, Land Ranger Pro, and uh, he just got a big old honk and silver ring, man. Awesome.